Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Never do that again. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for joining us. Christy! What? They're making kissing noises because we have the beautiful Nikki Glaser here I'd in the room. I'd kiss Nikki Glaser, sure. Oh, You'd yeah. kiss Nikki Glaser? Sure, why not? Oh. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it. Beautiful Tell them do it now. I would kiss you too. See? <laughs> I need it. Wow. Um, well, you, I don't I won't Are you go guys there both either, going but... down the dusty trail together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Me too. Bring on. Uh, I'm ready to date women. Okay, well, yeah. let's, we'll get I've to that. Made that sorry. Uh, we're, ready, we're ready to film it, but first. <laughs> Um, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Where was I? We're in the Napa Auto Parts studios. I, I have to congratulate you, Ace, for continuing to wear Raiders gear when they are arguably the worst team in the NFL. But you are sticking to your guns. They're far from the worst. Who's worse? No, no. They're the worst. <laughs> the scoreboard. Absolutely the worst. So if you're looking at the numbers, they are the worst? Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'm to check. Who, the Cardinals? So, Nikki, how's it going? Uh, yeah. St. Ignatius High School in Greater Cleveland could beat them. The Whoa. point is, uh, that's Chick McGee. There's Josh, and uh, sitting next to Josh's old friend, Nikki Glazer. She's not old, but you've been friends for a long time. Yes. So long. Have yeah. you two ever shared a hotel room? I Probably at I, some the, point. Yeah, but maybe. No, but actually, no, I don't think so. Because yeah, God remember. only knows what would have happened. I know, I think, uh, things, uh, things occur. Yeah. Yeah. You probably would have gotten pizza yeah. sauce on your sheets. <laughs> I'm sure Nikki knows of your. Let me ask you something. As yes. a guy, what's the most embarrassing thing you can do, Tom? That's right. Embarrass someone in front of a girl, right? I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't embarrass me. It would take a lot to embarrass me, especially in front of Nikki. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I didn't want to imply that there'd been any kind of sexual congress. No, of course not. You oh, wanted to imply yeah. that I had been overeating in the bed <laughs> yeah. next to her. <laughs> <laughs> she's, oh, I saw she's squirming, the bed. She's you know. squirming, <laughs> squirming on the bed next to him, and he's going, no, you want some chili? Mm. <laughs> she's, go she's gorgeous, and she's funny, and Josh goes, this place doesn't have HBO. Now, actually, Nikki, I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, you need to tell we have Nikki. Lear We have learned a lot about Josh, and um, Josh is a wonderful human being. Well, One of and, the best. And he has well. uh, stated this, and I wrote it down right here, so I wouldn't forget the exact. Exact yes. wording. Yeah. Josh describes himself as, quote, a thorough and generous lover. Listen, I'm well aware of, <laughs> of, of Josh's You've heard? prowess. Really? Prowess? Yes. Sure. In in the in the sack. Um we we talk very openly about um sex and dating, and so I'm I know Josh Arnold could bring it. Mm. I'm I, I really believe he can. And yet he never brought it to you. Never brought it to me. And is that it, whose choice was that? I don't know whose choice. I just we never had that vibe. Uh, am yeah. I no, right? let me ask, let me ask I don't, no, there was never well, a Well we have something special for Robo <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. A curtain opens up and there's reveals a bed. There's a bed and No, I I, I, I don't want to get I, I don't want to go down that road. I do want to ask you this in, in all yeah. truth. I'm a big fan of it, but do you like the full beard Josh Arnold look? I did. I don't ever notice facial hair on men. How it's different. How long has, have you been sporting this? It feels like you look this. You just start. You just. You just started growing in the side part. Oh right, right. Yeah, maybe three, four weeks. It's, something like that. I think it looks pretty good. It's it's longer on top than I remember. It looks yeah, good, my, Josh. Yeah, yeah my hair is really short. Sure. He's letting that grow too. Long. Sure. I like it. Have you seen the time machine, Josh? Well, it looks. It looks. It looks okay. Unless no, no, this is very visual. Breeze. I'm gonna have to do the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, Josh yeah. is oh. removing his headphones. He's muscling <laughs> like up his hair. There's a fine line between <laughs> he's wow. making his hair like, stick uh, up. He's gonna bug out his eyes and just okay, go ahead. Yeah, there's you a fine line it. between like adorably disheveled Josh and I was up all night working on my time machine, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Which is I, yes, I, I know this is radio, ladies and gentlemen, Lovely. but it's, I just did that one for us. It is such a slight change. Yeah, and you look psychotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like someone I would avoid. Like if you're in a place. I'm like, he's going to do something weird. I'm right. going to leave this gas station yeah. sooner than later. Yeah, and I'm yeah. that way about almost everybody. I know, I know right? I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> I look at that way at just about every person. We're, we're speaking with comedian and comedian and well, we got into this argument off the air. We earlier. prefer a flight attendant. <laughs> Thank you. That's the correct. Because there's not, now I, I, and I'm not trying to do any kind of gender identity thing, but it's it, comedian or com you're both. But right. Josh and I were talking, is if, if they, I know that there are actresses now that want to be called actor. I get it. Mm. What does this do to the Academy Awards? They'll now, always keep it separate. Best actor, uh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 yeah. What's the category? What if you're a non gender specific? That's specific? It's good. And that's going to come up. You're yeah, right. Yeah. right. Didn't that yeah. come up with. Uh, I think someone played one, but I don't know if it. 
What was oh, that movie? Maybe. Remember that? What was that movie where the guy? What? You know, uh, mm. oh. it was that famous movie twenty years ago in which, like, it was revealed. Could you be more the vague? Crying Game? Yeah, the Crying. Yeah, game. Yeah, but oh. that actress, she was just an actress. Or you know what I mean? She was actually a woman. Right. Okay. The character was. But oh, there right. are actresses and or I don't I guess actors who are um, not non gender okay. or whatever, and mm -hmm. they're like there's one on Billions. She, they oh, could yeah. they could easily be nominated for an okay. Emmy. They're so great. I, yeah, I get yeah, it. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, but you're okay with comedian? You know, it's it it's a little bit setting the playing field. When I get brought on stage and someone's like, "Are you ready for a comedian?" I'm just like, it doesn't need to be. They know who they're here for, and it kind of just makes it about like, "Are you guys ready for a lady comedy?" Right. But you know what? And that has a negative connotation. But I do do lady comedy. I'm a lady. I talk about lady things. So I, as much as I like to get away from it, just because people go roll their eyes about it, but. I'm kind of, now I'm like, all right, well, I'm a woman. I'm a lady comedy. Comedy's it's a little different comedy. though, like, because five years ago or even or 10 years, it was real big for, are you guys ready for your first female comedian? Yeah. Which yeah. is always weird. It's like yeah. a, a it's, carnival barker. It really is. <laughs> But Prepare I mean, yourselves. Yeah. Well, growing up, I mean, there were, there was, there was you know, Phyllis Diller and uh, sure. a lot of really good comedians that were of the, of the female gender. I don't know why it was a big, why it's become such a big issue, but. Um, Nikki's one of the best. Nikki has also got her own radio show, mm -hmm. yeah. um, which is fun. I'm, I'm, I know you're enjoying that. I am. It's, it's a, a daily thing that I go do every morning and I like, and I love doing radio. I started, you know, doing just promoting shows at clubs, going into radio stations like here. I've always, I, this show has really made me, um, appreciate radio and being on radio and just loving the art of it. So do, much. Do you because love having to get up and have something to do every day? I do love that. I love. I because you, you love this these the life that you people live is kind of um, you people you people on the road. Yeah, oh, okay. it's you don't really have to get up. There's no routine, and now I have a routine. I have friends that I see every single morning. Some of them I like, and um, <laughs> sure. yeah, 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 one yeah. of them you'll yeah. meet later. What's but your yeah. drink? What's your drink of choice first thing in the morning? Oh, I get a. Um, I go to Starbucks and I have a really ridiculous order, which is an extra hot venti almond milk. A misto. Oh, nice. Wow. Anyone, I, yeah. do, I do a grande misto. Wow. Oh, you do misto's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes. that misto Just, train girl. Yeah. Now, do you, Josh, when you hear that uh, in your mind, you're thinking, God, she's really attractive and witty and interesting. And you hear a Starbucks order and go, and um, I'm out. No, no, I'm but clearly you do. Them. And what? I would appreciate if you didn't <laughs> ask me. Yeah, that's a good point, Josh. Uh, actually, I want to show you, uh, Nikki, uh, I'm so glad you brought up Starbucks. We have to go back one day. To tell you this, you may have seen this story. Um, it involves um, I have it. porn, After years pornographic of broadcasting. After years of pressure, Starbucks has it's found a way to prevent customers from watching porn in its stores. A rep for Starbucks told Business Insider it has identified a solution to prevent this content from being viewed and will be introduced to U.S. locations in 2019. Boo! What? Now, well, I'm just real quick here. I didn't realize... Um, I, I didn't. I, we talked about this yesterday, and I said, "Well, what about libraries?" I have. We have received so many uh, pieces of correspondence, Twitter, email, etc., about places where people watch porn. Yeah, and I had no idea. It's pervasive. Uh, yeah. This uh, on airplanes at Wal. This one guy was working at a Walmart. Mm. Yeah. Um, See, I did know about it because Nikki. When I go to Starbucks, uh, yeah. Mocha, Mocha Grande. Uh, is one of my favorite porn stars. <laughs> and I like to, to watch, watch her there. <laughs> but I guess it's it's <laughs> it's everywhere you. at at libraries. Yeah, and it's a big problem, and it's super creepy. I had no idea. I think people are just so. It's just something that they pull up on their phones so automatically. They don't even think of it as like a private event anymore. It's just you pull out your phone, porn's coming up. But what? they should think of you it think? as a I know, of event. course they should, but I think people have just become desensitized <laughs> to it at this point. Josh, have you ever pulled out your phone? I mean, I've done this before where I open my laptop uh, in public or I pull up my phone and porn comes up because it's the last thing I watched and suddenly I'm in public and I'm like, oh no, oh no. It's, it's this, slamming get, my laptop at a Starbucks. We get this story about every three months yeah. at some college or high school oh. or whatever. Some professor will get up there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And they click the thing on and that's what happens to them and then they get, you know, fired. This, this, this is a uh, letter from a guy um, in Los Angeles 
He says the solution here at the library is they've put a polarizing filter over the display on the screen, mm. which means you have to be looking at it head on to see the image. Oh, okay. So peripheral viewing is obscured by the filter on the screen. So yeah. they've almost, Gosh, they're almost so encouraging weird. you to look at well, porn I, then. I, I, yeah. there, there may be. Well, that's just their way of at least issues, trying know. to keep, you know. So in, in, in any event, I had no idea this was an issue. I go into Starbucks like anybody else on occasion, and I've never... Well, you don't sit in that. there and lounge and... Oh, no, of course not. Well, of course not. <laughs> so, and, you know, I've got to move on. <laughs> but <laughs> how could... Co- yeah, on a plane. I've, I've seen it... Yeah. Ha- I haven't seen it, but I've heard it more frequently happening on a plane because people just really forget they're around other people on a plane. You get real comfortable and just... But that, I mean, I woke up one time and a guy had his hand down his pants and he was like leaning on me. No. And he, was, he was sleeping <laughs> and he was just like kind of doing some things. Hope this wasn't a family vacation. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was my For uncle, sake. Ted. Yeah. Uh, so, and I didn't know what to do because I, I uh, at first I go, oh, he's just sleeping and that's what he does when he sleeps. Like I made all these excuses, but he's very much leaning on me. And then I, the flight attendant <laughs> came by and I gave her a look like, uh, and she just goes, what? Well, what do you know? <laughs> I was just like, oh, what is happening? Boys will be boys. So then I, t- I, t- I took a video of him because I was like, this is unreal. I can't believe this is happening. And he's very much leaning on me, sleeping, hand down his pants. And um, and then I posted online and people go, how dare you show his face? And I was like, I tried to avoid it, but like, wait, wait, why am I the person? Why am I now the aggressor? He needed privacy in that moment, Nikki. <laughs> yes. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a lawsuit Um. Not too long ago about that, um, when the, the flight attendant didn't um, do anything to stop the guy. Yeah. I, th- I think I can actually find it. Um, um, yeah, well, yeah, this guy was uh, caught masturbating on a plane, but um, they turned on the no jerking sign. <laughs> and, uh, no, but actually, the, the, um, uh, by the way. Nick, You're free to jerk about the cabin. Uh, n- n- Nikki, <laughs> just not on it. <laughs> Nikki Glazer is our guest, um, and on she's this- at the legendary Comedy Attic. This actually leads to... Christine. To a story about Pornhub, they're going to introduce a new safe for work category. Really? Yeah. Corey Price, Pornhub's vice president, has announced in a statement, quote, to comply with Starbucks' new policy, we've created an option that will allow fans to still enjoy great content to which they are accustomed, but, but is appropriate for consumption in public places. Oh, give me a break. This is like alcohol-free beer. Yeah. How yeah. is this going to work? And it's still not going to be appropriate at work. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what? So, I mean, she's just in a bikini. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get away but with You still that. don't want people, you know, aroused. At- yes, that is the uh, another part of the problem. But yeah. that actually wow. leads to the, did you see the Uber story? Yes, an Iowa man's been arrested for allegedly exposing himself in an Uber and telling the driver that he, quote, mm. liked to masturbate in front of Uber drivers. Well, who doesn't? Hey, this is my thing. Wow. What are you going to do about it? Mm. Christopher wow. Jensen, 27, charged with a misdemeanor <laughs> in connection with the incident several months ago in Iowa City. Police charged Jensen, called for an Uber around 4.45 a.m. Jensen! And got into the front seat <laughs> when the vehicle arrived. During the ride, Mr. Jensen. Yeah. Right there, it's wrong. Yeah. Mr. Jensen allegedly took his male member out of his pants and began to masturbate in front of the driver. Uh. Started doing Louis C.K. bits. Uh. I know. I mean, it's like, why do these guys... <laughs> Does it have to be a girl or a guy Uber driver? Does it specify? No, I don't know. But No, it just can't be a lift. It's... <laughs> yeah. Well, this guy just didn't want to blow a wad on a taxi. <laughs> so he called... <laughs> so to speak. And blow a wad. Yeah, Jig, you like that one? And blow a wad. <laughs> oh, it's so I, weird. I, I, they just you know want, they, they want you to watch. I have had the best Uber drivers. I have had so many great experiences, um, and especially when we were down in Orlando at Disney World. It's the it's the best way to get between yeah. parks instead of waiting an hour for the bus. You can Uber over in five minutes. And the one guy, we got into his car, and it was me and the kids, and he um, he goes, "I just need to tell you that you're on camera." Oh, I don't blame him at all. And, me uh, and, I, and I said, "What? What for?" And he explained to me that um, if, it, it, as soon as he tells people they're on camera, if they're doing some kind of nefarious something like a drug deal or whatever, they immediately get out. Hmm. Right. But he had an experience which he he would have a passenger come in and he go take me to this one place and he gets there and all of a sudden, it's not a healthy situation. That's but smart. Yeah, my experience with Uber has been nothing but great. 
and uh, I, but this this poor guy, it's four forty five in the morning. That's those are the people that really are in that danger zone. Oh, wait a yeah. minute. Wait, what if we're taking one to work in the morning? <laughs> sure, I'm saying no. I admire them. I mean, yeah. I'm driving into work early. I see sure. it all the time. I. I've actually called 911 because so I'm driving in when a lot of people are coming home from the bars yep. and I'll see someone weaving in the oh, lanes. Yeah. And I've, I've called 911 and said, what hey. What a snitch. No, I've done that. No, I, I mean, was yeah, called you guys to the radio station. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what? Maybe let the guy ram into a school a bus. Yeah. We work with a bunch of rats, chick. Oh, wait a rats! second. Rats! Let's get back to the cheese thief. <laughs> <laughs> May we Rat. switch gears here? <laughs> a number of our listeners noticed this because... I the, bull! The one person, I bet, messaged you. Uh, no, I've uh, got several. Um, the, uh, several. From the same guy. Okay, I'll read the note I got from Mr. Oske it right here. It's, oh, what was a member of our staff? <laughs> yes, yes. And Oske doesn't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> we all know it. Josh ate cheese at work, all caps. Right. Uh, but he called the deli worker who was eating the occasional slice of meat, quote, a dirty thief. That's right. And I was <laughs> I was a dirty thief for stealing that cheese. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not he a hypocrite. It. Okay. Not a dirty thief. You were just... Uh, you... No, I was. I was a criminal. I should have been prosecuted. Uh-huh. <laughs> this, this woman who works at the grocery store... In the deli counter, I think it's important that she has an occasional taste. If you were it working, it's not important. So the guy's not allowed to taste the soup he's making at the Tom, restaurant. Tom, don't you remember the figure? She stole like twenty five thousand over like five years. Twenty five thousand dollars <laughs> worth of lunch meat. It's oh, a lot of lunch meat. Yes, think about it. That's dedication. She should be in a prison. <laughs> now, Chick now McGee, that's a little. Chick rough. McGee is a confessed ice thief. Yes, um, he should be uh, punished for that. I chose. I stole two bags of ice from a giant box store. Oh, uh -huh, that's that makes it right. <sighs> yes. What if, yes everybody, it does. what if everybody did that? There'd be no ice. Yeah. Um, by the way, I, I was. To, oh, I used to be a thief, thief. Like, like, like I used to shoplift. <laughs> I had an addiction to it until I got caught, and and I've never done it since. Gotten caught. And so uh, I did. I got caught when I was 19 and it was the worst. And I was doing it so much up until then. And uh, it, you know that feeling you have when you walk out of a store and it beeps and you haven't stolen anything, right? Well, when you have stolen something and you usually go, oh, okay, cool. And you just kind of walk away and the person goes, go, you're good, you're good. Well, when you've stolen something and it beeps, you don't have that reaction. You look very guilty. Oh. So it beeped and the woman came over and she goes, I'm sorry, I have to check your bag. And and I hand it over and she looks and she goes, that's what I thought. Come with me. And I was so addicted to stealing that I would just steal things that I didn't even like or need. I just did it for the rush. <laughs> and so I remember this really cool girl. It was in, like an urban outfitters in my college town. It was like the only place to buy cool clothes for a girl my mm -hmm. age. And she brings me up in this office and she's like a, five years older than me and she's dressed all cool. And she's just like, why are you doing, she's screaming at me. She's like, I've had a long day. She's going through what I bought or what I, what I stole. And she goes, really? This? Like she <laughs> Judging me. I was like, I'll never do it again. She was like, this is disgusting and would not even look good on you. You should have said that. You should have said that. that's a gift. <laughs> Nikki Glazer is our guest. We're going to come back with more. I asked this question, can you put clothes in a microwave to dry them? I got this nice response uh, from uh, Sandy driving a big truck right through Nebraska right now. Thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, pull over and send me this message. Um, it start, Tom, you ignorant slut. <laughs> No, Sandy is also a gentleman helping this great country of ours by driving one of the big rigs. He goes, driving through Nebraska, listening to your show. When my uh, grandson was a toddler, I washed his underwear one time and they weren't quite dry. We had to get going back on the road, so I put him in a microwave. Worked pretty well. A week later, he was at my house staring at the microwave and he asked me where the underwear button was. <laughs> <laughs> Fair question. Yeah. Uh, You've got your popcorn button. Yeah. <laughs> You've got your the underwear defrost button. Defrost and then the now, Have you ever, um, uh, Nikki Glazer, have you ever um, used a microwave to dry your underwear or have you ever left your underwear behind anywhere? Um, behind anywhere. I mean, no, I've definitely not used a micro. I don't think that would work. It would just heat them up. And then if there's any, well, actually there's no metal on your underwear, so it wouldn't like burn you. I'll try it out this weekend. Have, you, ever, you, have, you, have, you, have you ever left a place in such haste that you left your, uh, Left my behind. panties behind? You don't have to answer this. <laughs> I mean, no, because I'm not one of these girls that like sometimes doesn't wear underwear. Like it's just kind of my <clears> thing <throat> to always be wearing a pair. So I've never left somewhere being like, just like, I'm just going out without any. You Nikki, know? Like, when Tom asks you a question like this, the correct answer is 
What do you want to hear, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, Tom what, exactly. what, what is it what, that you want me to say? Could you want from me right now? Have you ever now? had to jettison your underwear after an unfortunate <laughs> oh gastronomical yes. incident? Yes, of course I have. I've definitely left behind it. Oh, that's what you want to know. No, I no, this, would... is a, this is a sidebar. To oh, the... yeah. Yeah, I've definitely had to. Um, one time I was, uh, I was, it was after a show, I remember I was wearing a lot of Spanx. I was just trying to um, appear slimmer. And I was wearing like two pairs of Spanx and I realized I was going to hook up with this guy. So before we left, I was like, I'm going to go to the bathroom before we leave. And I went in the bathroom and I took my Spanx off and I stored them. I hid them so I could come back for them later <laughs> because I wasn't going to like want to take these off right. while we were hooking up. So I came back out and he's like, did you, did you just gain 15 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I was a different person all the way. Like I was wearing a very tight dress. So like I needed the Spanx. You're a stick. Well, yeah. this was not when I was not a stick. This was like uh, on my way to, uh, like I, I was I was a bigger gal back in these okay. days. Oh, you were a real fat ass. Oh, yeah, I I'm not saying not. that I was we fat, would all go, oh, but Jesus, you're Hollywood then now. Disgusting well, fat I ass definitely- walking in. Why not Glazer? That's what we called her. <laughs> when you take the Spanx off, do they make like a really weird sound like you're, you know, pulling up? <laughs> what do you want to hear? Yes, there you go. That's uh, yep. <laughs> She's a quick study. Next to comedian Nikki Glaser, who is right there. Nikki is uh, a veteran uh, of the uh, of the road, a veteran also of Dancing with the Stars. Yes, Tom. I did not see it, so I can't. How long were Let you Let me on? tell you, Tom. So I got, uh, if you didn't watch Dancing with the Stars this season, season 27, it just wrapped up uh, last week. I got first voted off, and <laughs> it felt terrible. Uh, out of 13 stars, I was um, voted off as quickly as they could get me off the show. And let me remind you that there was a blind woman on the show. Uh, wow. So I was worse than a blind woman. Um, <laughs> that's how bad of a dancer I was. Uh, her and her dog outlasted me. And she's a blind Paralympic skier named Danielle Umstead, and she d- downhill skis uh, blind, and she won the bronze in the Paralympics. Um, her that's husband skis crazy. behind her in tandem inside her. I'm not really sure how it works, <laughs> but that's my fantasy of it. Like and, Ratatouille. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was the best thing I've ever done in my life doing that show. It was I was so sad to leave. I was so sad to be voted off because let me tell you, my dance partner was the hottest guy who's not only ever talked to me but like touched me <laughs> for a month leading up to the live show in which I was voted off. A month every day. For Four hours a day, seven days a week for a month. I am dancing uh. with this guy. I am stretching. We're having sex. It's very, what did I just say? No, we, we did not because he was married and also not interested. But you, you um, may want, By the way, you may want to change the subject. Why? Because we have your mom on the phone. Oh, she knows all of this. She knows about Gleb Sevchenko. Okay. Is this, is this Julie? Can you hear me, Julie? I sure can. Hi. Hey, hey, Julie, this is Tom. Uh, you're welcome to the Bob and Tom show. Uh, Hi, as you, Mom. As you can hear, Nikki is Hi, here guys. with us. Hi, Mrs. Glazer. It's Hi. Josh Arnold. Hi, Josh. How are you? I'm good. Nice to hear your voice. We miss you. We miss <laughs> you for Thanksgiving. I know. I know. What? I remember the Did Thanksgiving. You? Oh, yeah, you were there when Thanksgiving. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, we had so much fun. We thought he was going to be a new member of the family, but Aww. no. <laughs> moved away. Oh, see? I did move away. I uh, love gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm resisting saying anything. Um, uh, Julie, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to us. What we're doing here is we have a regular feature. It's called the Napa shoe of the Week, in which our sports man, Chick McGee, will pick several games in the NFL, and we pick against a grandmother, and you, of course, are a grandmother, because yes. you have a daughter that has a child, and, and is it a grandson or granddaughter? Grandson. It's a grandson, and yes. Well, I'm his name's, definitely his name is Arlo. I'm calling him Kevin until he does something cool enough to deserve that name. <laughs> <laughs> you can't name a baby Arlo. That's just, what, well, see, is I he love, in Mumford I, and Sons? I, 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 oh, that's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, He's I, so confused. I love the great Arlo Guthrie. Yes. And um, maybe the reason you didn't win on Dancing with the Stars is because you were dancing to the song... <laughs> Alice's Restaurant. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a tough one to hook it to. Yeah, yeah, a salsa to Alice's, to Harlow Guthrie. You Not a crowd pleaser. We'll be back with part six of their dance. Uh, it's a long song is what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, Julie, do you remember uh, Arlo Guthrie from Alice's Restaurant? Of course. Of Good. course I thought for sure that's what they named the little boy after. But, but they like, didn't. No. 
But they didn't. They, I think they just, they just picked out a name letter, book and, and turned to the first page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very exactly. lazy. Okay, now, Julie, uh, Julie um, although you are Nikki's mother, I'm going to make the assumption that you are a clear-headed adult. Um, sure. Uh, because sure. Nikki's obviously an, an insanely funny and, 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 and wild and great. Um, oh, but you yeah, sound to thanks. me like you're, uh, you have uh, you're both your feet in the ground, so I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> but reaching for the stars. We had this news story, we had oh. this news story today, and I, I was extremely judgmental about these people, and I will remain so. This is a true story. <laughs> Southwest Airlines um, had to apologize because <laughs> one of their, one of their uh, <laughs> clerks... Oh apparently started laughing when a woman brought her child on board a plane. The child's name is, I'll spell it for you, A-B-C-D-E. Pronounce Absidy. Now, they claim it's pronounced Absidy. Now, seriously, is that... (laughs) I I blame the parents. That is just... Oh, definitely. That's a a parental problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure... Somebody made a mistake. Because I... Yeah, yeah, but I get... I'm not That's surrounded by clear thinkers. I wanted to get... Uh, what does get... this have to do with the shoe yeah, end of the week? <laughs> what? Um, well, I, I thought that we'd give Julie time to wake up. Yeah. So, I, I'm, I'm wide awake. I'm ready to go. wide yeah. awake, ready to go. Okay. <laughs> so, are, so you're okay with Arlo? Oh, oh, we love... Well, when we went to the hospital, they surprised us with the name. And we. I think my jaw was dropped, and I just picked it right back up and said, Wonderful. That's a great name. But at so, first, yo. a little bit like, oh, dear. No, see, no, Arlo's a great it name. It is a great name. A, B, C, D, E, whatever this kid's name is, is insane. Yeah, it's bad. It's That's like naming insane. your kid Anus and then ex- not expecting people to go, oh, right. where's little baby Anus? Well, we're expecting <laughs> LMNOP in, in the spring. Oh, and good. we're very yeah. excited yeah. about her. Yeah. I think you should name the kid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh-huh. after, my, after my password. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so Julie, Thanks, were you, it. when the, when the show, when the TV show Dancing with the Stars went on the air, had you already, did you know that she'd already lost? My mom was well, there. Well, we actually, was, my husband, her, Nikki's father, was actually, we were there. So. Oh, cool. They were there. We're Tom, there. we didn't see it coming. They were supposed to stay uh, a couple days afterwards, and we're all supposed to hang out. And I'm on the show, uh, uh, and and I know that someone's going to be voted off. I just didn't think it was going to be me. I just, I, I had a good performance the night before. I got some bad scores and stuff, but I just didn't think it would be me. And then I'm looking around about three hours before I got eliminated, and I'm like, oh, no. I'm doing the math and I'm like, I'm going home tonight and I don't have anything to wear. You're, you're, uh, as soon as you're eliminated, you get in a car and you have to go to the airport because you have to be on Good Morning America in New York in the morning at seven. And I'm like, I don't have anything to wear. I didn't pack a bag. And so oh, I was no. just, it, I just got eliminated. And then I was like, bye, mom and dad. Have fun in LA on your trip. <laughs> and I was gone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was weird. We were like, you can't leave. What? Oh, no. Oh, it was sad. <laughs> now, yeah, uh, uh, Julie, are you and your husband good dancers? Do you? Uh... Oh no, we really are. Not. He would say he is, but I'm not, and I'm a I'm a leader and not supposed to be. But right. you no, know, we're not that great. We try, we and try I blame you, Gleb, now, my this, partner. Is this like the <laughs> Watusi, the Frug, the Boogaloo? What was your era of? Uh... Uh, the mashed potato. The mashed potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Do the mashed potato. Do the Actually, alligator. I do the twist pretty well. I'm not going to lie. You can I, twist? <laughs> I think I do anyway. Everyone else thinks it's the Farmer Brown, they call it. But yeah. I call it the twist. My mom has a couple drinks, and she starts doing this <laughs> this Farmer Brown <laughs> twist dance. <laughs> and I blame you, Mom. I blame you for getting well, kicked off Dancing with the young. Stars. Yeah, you yeah, taught I me guess. young, and you taught me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can see, Julie, where Nikki gets her great sense of humor. Oh, she's so oh, funny. Oh, thank you, so Tom. Funny. You're Appreciate so funny. That. Did, now, did you did you actually cook Thanksgiving uh, yourself? Did you? Yes, I did. Uh, I did. Now, do you have any I, I, weird family traditions, or do you have a relatively traditional uh, Thanksgiving dinner? Wow. Well, we have this one dressing that uh, everybody, you know, my husband's side of the family, his mother and grandmother made it, and we have to do it every year for my husband. But what about us now, though, Mom? I mean, the, your well, big yeah, challenge is, is I'm a vegan. Yeah, this is a tough one. So yeah. we do you have do a, what's it called? Um, Tofurkey, we have in the past, and they just are not that good. I'd rather just eat a ton of vegetables that my mom uh, whips up. Okay, what is this weird dressing? What's in it? Well, you grind, you cook the, um, you cook the gizzards, and you grind them up, and you give them to your dog, like every American does. (laughs) No, this goes right in the stuffing, Tom. Sorry, Uh. and then and then you put potato in it, mashed potato. Sounds good. And it's got got all these. 
And hmm. then you dance the farmer brown dance. What did you just say? <laughs> the, you do the mashed potato so as does, you put the mashed potato. Does it taste oh, yeah. kind of like... The mash, does the it taste potato. livery? Yeah. So it's really got all these crazy... And I have to call um, uh, my sister-in-law every year because his mother's gone. But uh, And say, oh, how do you do this? And she's very descriptive exactly how you do it. And don't put too much of this in. Don't do... So anyway, I, I try, but then I just skip half of it, and I go, I did it. Who, sure. Does anybody eat it except for your husband? I mean. No, we eat it. We ate it last night, too. <laughs> we, we still had some leftovers. Well, you got a, yeah. cal- you got a calendar at home? You're going to get and- tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's they a made week. it again. <laughs> it was a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. Okay, I'm not sure okay. what the half-life of, <laughs> what, what the half life of, of, of liver. turkey liver yeah. is. Again, I always I give exactly. those to my dogs. Julie, uh, we're going to do our a little segment here. Uh, Chick McGee has picked several games. Uh, do Chick- you have a favorite football team, Julie? Here's no? the Bengals. You like the Bengals? You like the Bengals? We're from Cincinnati originally, so we have to have a team. St. Louis doesn't have a football team anymore, so we got to go with somebody. Okay. Uh, The the Bengals are hosting the uh, all of a sudden uh, red hot Denver Broncos this Mm -hmm. week, and a Cincinnati home underdog. They're getting five. Who do you like, the Bengals or the Broncos? I'm saying Bengals. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be wrong, Mom. Yeah, that's way wrong. Is it I'll okay? take a Is it Denver, a- Denver minus yeah, it's a home game. Denver minus five at Cincinnati. I'll take that. Uh, okay. Chiefs minus fifteen at Oakland. Who do you like? Wait a minute. Wait, who gets the 15 points? Um, uh, Oakland. Oakland gets 15 points at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I am too. Chiefs will cover that in a big way. Thirty-five. Yeah. Sorry, Ace. Yeah. Thirty-five to two. I'm thinking. Uh, the <laughs> Chicago Bears are also uh, red pepper hot, but I don't think Mr. Biscuit's playing this week. But they're host. They're at the New York Giants, and the Giants are getting four. You like Giants or the Bears? Um, I guess I'm going to go with the Giants. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, Chicago. I'll take the Bears minus the four. Tom, that's my double shock. And uh, the Tennessee Titans. Uh, where the Tennessee games go? They are hosting the New York Jets. Jets getting 10 in that one. Who do you like, Tennessee or the I Jets? I like the Titans. The Titans, I do too. Yes, Titans minus the uh, 10. There you go. There's our pick, so. Oh, All very right. good. Thank you right. very See, much, Julie. Go. One, two, three. I don't, I don't know what this is going to do for you by having my pick. <laughs> oh, we just had a great time being together. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about, yeah. Mom. Now, yeah. against, yeah. against, about against the spread this season, after two incredibly hot weeks, Ch- Chick's had a couple softer Still ones. above 500 at 27 and 24. There you go. Clinging oh. to yeah. above 500 against yeah. the spread. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, there were a couple of glorious weeks. Oh, there, there was a 9-0, mm. t- two weeks and a 9-0 over two yeah. weeks. Yeah, was, yeah, the triple, was, was it the triple shock that... Uh, I don't like to talk about okay. it, Tom. I don't know why, okay. don't know why you do. But the triple right. shock means he tripled his bet. So you, you, have, you have agreed to double your bet on the Bears. I the, love the Bears. The Bears I'm have been good the Bears. Uh-huh. The Bears have been wonderful. Yeah. Have you ever seen, uh, 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 Julie, have you ever seen, have you been to Chicago and seen where the Bears play? Mm, no. Oh, it's the legendary Soldier Field. <laughs> Here we go. Let, 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 let's shoehorn this joke in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen Soldier oh, Field? We... No. It looks like yeah. a UFO is um, having non-consensual sex with the Parthenon. <laughs> it is uh, possibly one of the worst uh, really? pieces of contemporary architecture ruining a... Never mind. Uh, wow. Yeah, I, I have a, I'm a big fan of decent architecture. That I got to see that. that, that well, is who is it? I mean, yeah. We all Don't you guys like good design and uh, elegant? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Sorry. Yes. I was just yes. thinking of that this morning. Surrounded by Philistines, Love Julie. Love to see a great building built. <laughs> hey, Julie, yeah. you're the best. Congratulations. And that's, uh, you did a nice job. Job raising Nikki, and then something clearly went wrong when she left the house. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. I appreciate that. Okay, you're so sweet. I hope to see you over Christmas. I want to try your dressing. Oh, yeah, everybody's invited. Okay. Bye, Mom. Thank you. Love you. Oh, all right. Give some dressing all right. to Josh. <laughs> I'll talk to you the next time I'm on Bob and Tom. <laughs> Only time we connect. She's so cool. She's so cool. Wow. She's that, the best. That dressing is weirding me out, though. Yeah. Oh, I, I think it sounds delicious. Well, I like liver, but. Wouldn't it get all that kind of stick to your tongue kind of... No. Whatever it does, don't make those noises anymore. Yeah, I don't like whatever it's doing to your mouth right anybody now. With, anybody with me on this? <laughs> no, you're so right. How, so how long have you been a vegan? 
<laughs> uh, like a year and a half, two years, something like that. Well, I congratulate you because you've been here on almost an hour and hadn't mentioned it yet. I know, I know. I'm not trying to shove it down anyone's throats, but yeah, it's it's that's it's it's not a good life. Like I don't like. I miss all the things that I used to eat. I'm not like plants are way more delicious. They're delicious, but. I, I'm not, I'm looking at that cake and I'm bummed. Like it's, it sucks that, that I cake. can't eat that cake. No, there's a uh, cr- probably milk in it. Can only assume. Oh, maybe some and butter. Probably some, maybe uh, some bison. Uh, oh, you mean things? You mean <laughs> maybe things, some brisket? <laughs> maybe things that things that taste good, like yeah. milk and butter. Okay. I know these things taste good. I am living a less enjoyable life it's because car- of my it's, respect it is for a, animals. It is a carrot cake. Does that help? It do- that doesn't not that it, that does help. When I heard that, I was like, oh, maybe I can because there's so much carrot, I can be okay with. But Doesn't I can't. that offset the? You would think. It just no, doesn't. <laughs> okay. It's not how it works, Tom. Okay. So, I wish. Well, at least you're in New York where there's lots of vegan places. There's so eat, many. Right? It's so easy to be a vegan now. It, I mean, it's a little, it's more expensive, but uh, it's, it's, it's not, I'm not complaining. Do you, do, do you go to meetings and? No, but I, <laughs> Hi, I definitely, my name is Nikki um, and I'm a vegan and we find life. each other and we really love each other. And there was like another vegan girl on Dancing with the Stars. She plays Luna Lovegood on Harry Potter. So we really connected just talking about like how much we love animals and love not eating them. So did, that did you find re- yourself alone a lot, the two of you and everyone else kind of? We back, really did. Said, Hi, People Nikki. would just go, go Oh vegan. God, they're talking about being vegan again. And then they would leave us alone and then we wouldn't have to dance. And it was great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, it you was, could have your own chickens and love your chickens and then eat their eggs. That's true. My my sister did that. My sister was vegan and they both got chicken so that they could have those eggs. Uh-huh. And then um, I gave I, I gave my dogs away. I want to just um, talk about that. Yeah, I so I lived in LA when I got my dogs. It was so easy to have them. Then I moved to New York City and I lived in a four floor walk up. So every time I had to take my dogs to go pee, uh. it was up and down four flights of stairs. And after a couple weeks of that, I just started like fantasizing about them passing away all the time. <laughs> like every time I close my eyes, even to blink. And right. I oh, right. couldn't do, I was like, oh no, something's, we, I, I was like, I'm going to do something crazy. Like, cause these are young dogs. I have 10 years with these things. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. They're driving me crazy. They're sucking up all my energy. And so we just started hanging out on the balcony a little bit more, you know, <laughs> accidents happen. I'm not going to say I would like shove, but you know, you throw a ball and uh, <laughs> no, I just started having these thoughts of like, uh, and I loved these things more than. A- a- yeah, I follow you on social media. I was obsessed yes. with them. I had yeah. friends intervene and say, Nikki, you need to take down that post. We get it. You love your dog Luigi, but you're like making out with him. And I'm like, I'll do whatever you say, Amy. Just keep putting me in your movies. And so <laughs> I, I had friends literally tell me, take down those posts. It's grossing people out because you love your dog so much. And then I was thinking about like when w- TikTok Luigi, you know. And so I <laughs> called up my mom and dad and I asked them to take the dogs, which was really hard for me to give them away, like to actually hand them over. It was heartbreaking and I cried. And the second that door shut, I got to say, um, <laughs> I've been living life like Casey Anthony. I, like, I, no looking back for old Glaze dog over here. Mm. Best decision I ever made. Nikki Glazer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, vegan. Um, yep. So your mom and dad And my dogs, it, my, my mom took one, my sister took the other, and my, my sister's dog ate their chickens. So oh, they had man. to get rid of their chickens because my dog killed my dog. I'm a vegan and my sweet dog murdered their chickens <laughs> that were only bought to then replace tens that were being, yeah, it's, right. oh, it's a nightmare. It all came around. That's, yeah, that's it a really did. I'm um, sad about it as well. Those dogs were my rent. <laughs> yeah. They truly were. That was a sad day for Andrew. I walked them twice a day. That's Aww. a lot of money. We're going to